Are you faced with the challenge of creating multiple zones inside one room, but building walls between them isn't quite an option? Whether you are renting your home or simply prefer more flexible solutions, adapting your living space without traditional barriers is a common dilemma. In this video, we delve into the art of dividing rooms without the permanence of walls. We will talk about curtains and lightweight fixed partitions, sliding panels, freestanding partitions, how plants can help divide a room, how to use open shelving units, and finally we will talk about invisible partitions and how other architectural and decor elements in your home can create the impression of separation between various zones. So let's start with visible dividers. Visible dividers are the core elements whose purpose is to divide a space. Their purpose is to prevent the eye from seeing fully or partially in one side of the room and gently guiding it towards another. While some of them may have acoustical properties and can reduce the sound significantly, they cannot stop sound from fully getting on the other side. Only a good insulated wall can do that. That being said, blocking just the view or the view and some of the sound can still be very useful in many circumstances. So let's talk about some examples of visible dividers. First up are curtains. Used a lot in theater, curtains have been an excellent way to quickly modify a space's function and create a partial sound barrier without implementing walls. They offer flexibility, style and functionality, making them perfect for various home scenarios. There are essentially two types of curtains suitable for these purposes. We have sheer curtains, which are often used for room areas that don't have any windows, but need natural light to come from adjacent areas. These are typically bed niches that don't get any light. But they can also be aesthetic separations between bedroom and living spaces. They can also be used to mask partially an open wardrobe. However, if the area of the room we are trying to separate has enough natural light, we might opt for heavy drapes in order to add more visual and acoustical primacy. You can use them to separate your bedroom from the rest of the apartment, mask kitchen noises from the rest of your home, or perhaps create more coziness in the dining area. The cool thing about them is that they provide a lot of flexibility Especially in open plan homes, they improve the acoustics, making a room feel and sound less like a hall of space and more like a home. Lightweight fixed partitions. Sometimes you want to have a partition between two areas of your home, but unlike a wall, you want it to allow for light or air to go through. You might also want it to be beautiful and add a decorative element to your home. In those cases, you might opt for decorative partitions. Decorative partitions have been around for hundreds of years and have been particularly used in very warm countries because they allow for air to go through while keeping rooms shaded and cool. You can spot them in Islamic decor around the palaces and mosques in the south of Spain, Morocco or Qatar, but you will also see them in countries like Brazil in open plan homes allowing for the air to circulate. They often feature intricate designs, they add an artistic element to the room while serving as a physical divider. You can find them in various shape sizes and materials like wood, cast iron and even textiles. The choices are endless. Glass partitions or glass walls have become a popular and stylish solution in modern home design, offering a blend of aesthetic and practicality. Unlike traditional walls, Glass partitions create a sense of openness while still providing the necessary separation between areas. They allow for natural light to flow seamlessly through the space, making rooms feel larger and more connected. This feature is especially beneficial in smaller homes or apartments where maximizing light and space is crucial, but of course they work well in larger homes too, adding beautiful decorative elements throughout the home. Sliding panels. In some occasions, the lightweight fixed partitions come together with sliding partitions connecting rooms with each other. They are perfect for creating flexible living areas in an open plan layout, allowing residents to open up or close off different sections of their home as needed. What you'll often see is wooden slatted panels, which are perfect for adding warmth and texture and they suit a variety of interior designs. They are great at covering areas of the home that are less pretty, like utility rooms or small kitchens. 
but they're also great at creating more privacy for bedrooms during the night. Sliding glass panels are used when there is a desire for a flexible partition that allows for a light to go through. They often add a sleek and modern feel to the room, and they are often used to separate bedrooms from the rest of the home. Freestanding partitions are something you might choose not to separate two rooms from each other, like the fixed partitions, but small zones within a room, like a study corner, a vanity mirror, or a little boudoir. Not every area of a room needs to be visible at first glance, so these freestanding partitions have the role to visually mask various areas around the room. These standalone partitions require no tools or permanent changes, making them great for expanding families. Unlike fixed walls or heavy furniture, these dividers can be quickly shifted or stored, offering privacy, hiding clutter, or creating dedicated spaces without major renovations. Folding partitions. They're highly flexible and can be expanded or contracted as needed, fitting various space requirements. They are very light and easy to move around the room and have a highly decorative quality about them, enhancing the look of the room. Screens. Screens do not fold, but have a resting structure that holds them upright, making them ideal for temporary separations. They're usually not very tall and can be made from various materials such as soft fabric, or wooden panels. Plants. Incorporating plants as room dividers is a creative and refreshing way to define different areas in a home, enhancing the overall ambience of the space. Using plants as dividers is a great strategy to maintain an open airy feel while subtly delineating separate zones. Some examples are tree branches that can be turned into an artistic room divider or crawling plants that can grow on rods to create a beautiful, natural, ever-changing divider. Shelf arrangements of small plants are also quite popular. You can achieve that by placing a variety of potted plants on a multi-tiered shelf, creating an attractive living screen. Which brings me to my next topic, open shelving units. Instead of solid bookcases, open shelving units can store things and maintain an airy feel in the room while helping to separate different functional zones. The shelves allow for light to filter through and offer the flexibility to display decorative items, adding character to the space. This balance of openness and division makes open shelving units a popular choice in modern interior design, especially in homes where maintaining a feeling of spaciousness is key. Some examples are cube storage shelves, which offer a clean geometric design suitable for modern interiors. They can incorporate not just books, but also electronics and decor items, making them very useful. Floating shelves. Floating shelves create a more minimalist look, perfect for smaller spaces. They can support not just shelves, but also a table, becoming more than a separation zone, but also a functional area as well. Shelf dividers can also be low-level furniture pieces that aren't attached to the ceiling, but stand on their own structure and can be used as room dividers, providing storage space while keeping the room open and airy. This makes them particularly suitable for smaller homes or rentals or apartments where maintaining a sense of spaciousness is important. Invisible dividers. Invisible dividers are ways to create various zones in a room without any dividers. There's no physical element specifically designed for separating zone A from zone B. Yet we intuitively understand that the space has two different zones. Let me explain this in more detail. The purpose of invisible dividers is to improve a space's function, but they do not provide any acoustic or visual privacy. Let's look at some ways we can do that. Furniture placement. We can change how a space is perceived and used by how we arrange the furniture. For example, you can place a sofa in the middle of a large room with its back facing towards another area, like a dining space or a home office. This creates a natural separation between them. L-shaped sectionals can be strategically placed to carve out a cozy living area in an open space, acting as a soft barrier to the rest of the room. You can also place a small sofa at the end of the bed, dividing the area between sleeping and getting undressed creating a small lounge. Console tables. Place a console table behind a sofa or along a piece of furniture. 
This can act as a subtle divider and also offer additional storage and display space. Island or bar counters in kitchens. In an open kitchen living area, an island or a bar counter can serve as a natural divider between the cooking area and the living or dining space. Color zoning. Use different paint colors or wallpaper patterns for different areas of the room. This visual cue subtly divides the various zones around the home without any physical barriers. Flooring changes. Changing the flooring material or pattern can demarcate different areas. For example, hardwood in the living area and tile in the kitchen within an open plan space. Rugs are also great at defining zones. A rug can anchor a seating area in a living space or perhaps the dining table distinguishing it from other room parts. Flooring height changes can also create that differentiation Adding a few steps between the living and the dining area, or the sleeping and the living zones, can make the separation between rooms very clear in our mind, without having to place a single wall. Ceiling changes. Different ceiling designs or heights can also visually help us separate rooms in our minds. For instance, a dropped ceiling over a kitchen island can visually separate it from an adjoining living space. Different ceiling colors are also a fun way to separate various areas in your home. All right, we are at the end. And if you enjoyed this video, I believe you will like my video Space Organization Without Decluttering, where I dive into more ways to simplify and organize your space.